is going on gamers avatrix here and today i'm coming at you with a lords mobile video now in this video this is a basically is going to be barbecue the guild versus cxc um, they migrated to kingdom 4 and they've been pretty much at war with us since they got here um, they actually jumped us when they when they first migrated to kingdom 4 so we've been going at it um, now on this one we found this uh, 112 million my player wolf haha -ha. so what they're going to do is kind of risky but it can also pay off really well um, essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure that the target is offline and there's various ways that you can go uh, about seeing if that target is online by watching them for a few minutes maybe even a few hours depending on how dedicated you are but we make sure that this player wasn't online now they're going to be doing solo hits so it is very risky because first of all you're probably going to lose your leader and you're not going to do a lot of damage but eventually it'll whittle them down uh where the solo hits will start going through now the the good side of this is is they're on like a rally there is no notification to the guild so the guild does not know this is happening now as you can tell right here they're going one by one but since he is the, the uh, you're attacking his turf and he has all his troops out they're losing their leaders so this one right here was very important because once he hits bam then everybody else gets their leaders back you saw the leaders go back so now what's going to happen is now that they got their leader they're going to go ahead and keep going now that hit was really key in this whole thing because if if he loses his hero too then they pretty much all lose their hero and that would have been really bad now that that hit went through they're gonna go ahead and keep chipping away now that's the name of the game uh, since they're offline they only really have like a minute maybe two to react to this whole thing and uh, unless you're online it's very difficult to uh, to react to something like this and already down to 85 million so um this this is i think the hit that takes a stall and finally breaks through it's either uh, mike or or arbe the one that goes through and then once you see the smoke and the flames then it's it's pretty much all done there it is so that basically they sent any hero that was captured before and now now that the damage has been done it's down to 78 million from 112 million just off of solo hits now it's really time for the damage to go in because now the army is crippled it's either all in infantry or uh he's losing tons of troops every time so there we go we got it down to about 70 74 million and they're just gonna keep solo hitting the the uh cxc guild doesn't know anything that's going on because there's no notification so it's it's uh it's one of those times where you should have been shielded and you were oh 58 million now that's absolutely crazy there goes another hit it goes down to 55 million and this person had it, it was at 112 million so there's a lot of a lot of uh, troop might there there goes another hit and then another hit and it looks like the beastly was able to capture the leader there and it went down to 43 million i believe that he's uh he's completely zeroed out now the beastly has the hero and yeah 112 million down to 43 million so essentially this person was almost all troop might that's a lot of might to have for a 43 million core might that's that's not a that's a crazy amount but it looks like that's that's game 43 million completely zeroed out down from 112 I don't know man but in this kind of game when you lose that many troops because a hundred percent it was millions of troops that's that's rough to log into and continue to play man especially if you don't spend hundreds and hundreds in the game that's rough but hats off to these guys man they did they did an amazing job especially solo hitting because there's big losses at the beginning when you do solo hits um so big shout out to all of them and they they definitely went in um, but this was not the only thing that happened and in the next one I was actually involved in so big shout out to barbecue man they they do this kind of things like solo hits they make it look easy and it's really it's really not because if you don't do it correctly you'll have huge losses on your side but there you go there's a big barbecue ha happening with a uh, CXC 
and now we move on to the next one now on this one we're, we're uh, trying to get wolf ft7 now uh, on this one they didn't go the solo route they actually decided to rally and it does when you when you rally on like the solo hits it does alert their guild so there's usually um, if they're if they're on they can actually port in and reinforce or attack the people that are doing the rally and all of that so you got to be careful when you do a rally because even though the person might be offline the guild you know the whole guild isn't going to be offline um, so here we go we're going to go ahead and um, supposedly supposedly we're going to get this rally started but something happens here that I, I that have me cracking up are you ready for it are you ready here he comes so cutthroat actually sends a solo attack instead of actually starting the rally which i mean it happens you know when um, when you're doing a rally or a solo you can hit the wrong button but that had me absolutely rolling i was like wait what is he doing um, but no, he called it back, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and start this rally up. That could actually be a, a little dangerous um, because I think that sends them a notification that they're getting attacked. Um, but actually, lately this game hasn't been giving me many notifications. No scout notification, no attack notification, um, nothing like that. At least it does give me the your shield is about to expire notification, but outside of that, it hasn't really been giving me much. Um, but there you go, you see that he is actually in research gear. So that means that he might not even be specced for uh, for combat. And that is a huge advantage to us. So, they're uh, going to go ahead and start the rally. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and join the rally. And my troops that I had out here uh, were already 200,000. It was the same troops that I had used in, a, in another rally. So I'm going to go ahead and, and send them out. But keep this in mind. That's all the troops that I, I uh, currently had. Because with Kingdom versus Kingdom and other rallies and all that. I had a ton of troops healing. And, and here I'm actually just going into my base to make sure that I am sheltered. That all my troops are safe. I look on my left hand side and I do see that, um, that I am sheltered for another 11 hours. So I am good to go. Even if I'm hit I'm not going to lose anything. Kato does said don't send cavalry to my rally, but it's the only thing that I had, so I had no way, no, no way around it. There we go. Now we're gonna go uh, and see people just start porting in and joining the rally. And it's really important when that when you do a rally that you do it the right way. That you guys port in, that there's there's not gonna be any sort of travel or anything like that, because if you're rallying five minutes is more than enough to have them to come in but if you if you have to rally and then wait for it to travel somewhere it's not going to be any good because it gives them way too much time to actually react get called because your your guild is going to know that you're getting rallied so the, the idea here is to go ahead and rally him down at least one good hit and then after that rally hits they go ahead and start doing the same thing that they did before send the the solo attacks because that army should be crippled it looks like we're uh we're up to 1,900,000 so we only need uh, about 400,000 more troops maybe a little bit maybe closer to 500,000 but look at all of the T4 that is a lot of T4 now i am nowhere near T4 so i'm just i'm just amazed by how many T4 accounts are in this guild alone so here we go. It looks like we're at two million and two hundred thousand. So we just need a little bit more. And let's see. I think it's getting filled up now. The rally is almost full. We just need maybe another person to go. Oh, and there we go. See, this is the bad thing about rallies. They guild no. So as soon as I see that they're porting in, I'm gonna dump all my resources. So if they do attack me, I'm only gonna keep the amount of resource that my vault is going to cover i don't i don't have to dump all of my resource i just need to make sure that i dump all of the resource extra that my vault would not cover so the only thing that i have is i, I believe like a million extra wood that my vault wouldn't cover so there we go i get rid of it and now even if i'm hit i have no troops in my base they're all sheltered i have no resources that they can get because my vault is going to save them so even if i'm hit 
I'm not gonna lose anything. So they can hit me all they want. But it won't matter. There goes another person that's gonna port in. Now, I'm not seeing them actually reinforce him, which is interesting because if you port in, usually what you want to do is either reinforce or attack people. And I haven't seen them attack anything yet. Um, more than likely, they're going to go ahead and, and hit me here. It looks like the rally is full, so that's perfect. We got 2,375,000 and we have about 30 seconds before all of the troops are there in a minute before it actually hits but I'm interested to see if uh, Wolf J and Wolf Ripper are actually going to do anything let's see uh, looks like we still have troops coming in but they will get there there I am I'm getting attacked but take a look at my might I get hit I don't lose any resource my might went down like 8,000 but that's probably just like traps that were destroyed I don't lose anything so he can attack me all he wants but I'm not going to lose anything. Now, the main thing that I do have to watch out for is once that rally hits, I have to make sure that my troops are either sheltered, fake rallied, or I shield in time before they can actually hit me. Because if they catch my troops coming back, as soon as it reaches me, if they attack me, then they're going to be hitting those troops. So I'm going to have to be really, really super fast with the shield. As soon as my troops get here, I'm going to have to shield. But... It should be a few more seconds on this rally. Let's see. Looks like Wolf J is scouting. I'm the only one that he's hit so far. I'm probably the lowest might, but there we go. There goes the rally. Let's see just how much he loses on this. Again, he's probably not war spec, so this should hurt quite a bit. Oh, 68 million. That rally, uh, it hit him. It hit him disgustingly hard. There we go. Now, this is the key moment for me, at least. I have to make sure that my troops are going to be safe when they come back and make sure that those wolves don't pick them off. Look, Wolf J is trying to attack whatever Shin, but Shin uh, actually shielded on time, so no problem. And there I am getting attacked, but I make sure that I use a shield. They try to speed up, but that didn't matter because I was fast enough with the shield. I think there was only like a second in between my troops getting there and me shielding. So that went to perfection. Perfection. Now, they're not zeroed yet. He still has 65 million might. And all of these guys are pretty much all fluff mites. All the 100 mils, they just have millions of troops. They don't really have high research. So there we go. Oh! 41 million. That is a huge hit. And then it looks like we have another hit coming in. Oh, no, he's turning back. I wonder what, what happened there. Did he uh, did he have the wrong heroes or the wrong troops? Um, doesn't have the heroes, so it's not zeroed yet. Uh, who's going to take that last hit? Who is going to take that last hit? Looks like Cutthroat is. And then Arbe is going to be following right after. It's going to be bang bang on the hits right here. Here we go. How much more might can he lose? That's It's going to be interesting when these two hits happen. There we go. Two hits. Oh, look like Ellis is uh, 32 million. Wow. He's pretty much my might, except with millions of troops. Looks like Wolf J hit Legend Dark down there. I uh, don't believe he lost anything, though. Maybe some wounded troops, but that's okay. Wow, 32 million. That's an insane amount. Legend Dark, I think he should be okay. Oh man, that is a huge drop, but it looks like we were able to zero at least two wolves. Now, there was another one that there was another battle that was going on after this one that I was not a part of for the most part because I wasn't home to record it. But Malchik um, said that he's going to be posting that video up. Uh, on his YouTube channel, so I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down in the description. But there we have it barbecue, barbecuing with the wolves. We had wolves today for uh, for lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever time it was for them. There we go. That's that's a lot of damage. Let me see if I can get that report for you guys. Give me one minute. Okay, so here's the report from the rally that I was able to join. There we go. You see here that we lost about 100,000 might, but they lost 
39 million might with 1.4 dead troops and only 252 wounded. That is a crazy amount. It barely has any wall researched. So this person was pretty much all might on troops. That's crazy. So there we go. Look, look at all the people that joined the rally. Um, all the heroes and all the troops that they were able to send out. And uh, yeah, I mean, compared to him, we barely took any loss. Look at that. Look at that. Not even T4 troops. This person was just all, all T3 and just a whole lot of might in troops. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching. And until later. Bye.